Good morning. It is 8.56 and a.m. What is that? It's heavy. It's coffee, though. <sighs> Anyhow, we're getting ready to mow. Department of Veterans Affairs. It is 8.57. Wesley took his sweet time eating watermelon this morning. So we're running late. Howdy. We have Knoxville to do today. Lots of yards. We won't even get involved in the count because it's useless. Well, actually, we don't have that many yards. Bull. I'll show you. Give me a key. I want to give me something to open this with. Yay! Dunkin' Donuts coffee! Yay! Dunkin' Donuts coffee! We did 16 yards yesterday. Okay. Me and Mariah was talking about a successful business. Now, all of you guys out there, I know everybody may have different definitions. What is a successful business in your mind? A long time ago, I considered what I thought was a successful business. It wasn't getting rich. It wasn't making a lot of money. A successful business is being able to take care of your family. And this is the 18th year that I've done that with this lawn care service. Well, the first year was rough. Mariah had to work some in a nursing home and it helped us hang in there. But ever since that first year, I've been able to support my family of three. Help three? Of three Five. children, three children, and me and Mariah, and be able to help other people financially. Successful business, in my opinion, is be able to take care of your family. And that's a real blessing. Okay, here's one of the businesses we mow. Let's see if we can get a little footage. Mariah mowing this today. I got her a new grabber. When we come to our commercial properties, they're always full of trash. But we'll get to catch Mariah during her use of the new grabber. Okay, we got through with that one. Three, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh. Then we gotta do Neil, Robbie. And okay, do you see how Mariah did with her new grabber? And she's able to grab that Patron bottle. How do you reckon that bottle got out here in the yard? Someone was drinking it. Uh, you reckon it somebody was drinking and threw it out in the yard? Are they walking down the road or just pitched it? I guarantee you somebody was drinking. I seen a guy the other day with a whiskey bottle in his cup holder mm. sitting at a restaurant and a whole whiskey bottle. Ain't people stupid. And I picked up a ton of trash, and there's still more trash in that yard. I mean, I picked up a dirty diaper even. Disgusting. The one yard there we mowed for years, and the guy guess the guy decided he wouldn't want to spend the money on mowing this year. Now it's growing trees back up in it. What a terrible waste to do all that, go through all that cost to clear land 
only to let it grow back up in the trees. Poke, poke, poke. Poke, poke, poke. Pride being a pest. You want to see pest? Y'all look at that grass. Would you mow that grass? I did mow it, but you can't tell it. It is dry and dying. It is bad. So Mariah, I want to ask you a question. No. How long have we been mowing this place? You remember, I was, Wesley was still with me. Mm -hmm. It's probably been at least, I'd say at least 12, maybe 14 years. What do you think? Maybe. Okay. Now, the next place I'm going to is owned by the same guy that this place owns. That, that owns this place. Drink mix. Now, here's the difference. The guy that owns this place, he lives in Danville, Kentucky, and he never knows if it gets mowed or not, but I have a tattletale here that's been trying to get me fired for the last 12 years. If I miss a weed, he'll go around and take a picture of that weed and send it to this guy, and I always wondered. Why would somebody try to get me fired? Because he's a mower on the Today side. Today I found out. He's a mower on the side. Today I found out why I've been, somebody had been tattling on me for every little move that I don't get perfect for the last 12 years. I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to come up here and show y'all. He brought his outfit to work with him today. You see? There's somebody with a mowing outfit. <laughs> so now I know why the guy's been trying to get me fired for so long. And I just recently picked up another one of the properties owned by the same guy. And that's the one we're on, on our way to next. Now the next property that we are on our way to. Pain in the butt. I and called. I, I called. And because I know how, look, y'all seen the yards from the last video, they were really high, but that was over next to the mountains. Now this, we're in Knoxville now, we're a good hour away from where we was at and the grass was so green. But over next to the mountains, the grass is always growing. But up here in Knoxville, Brown. they're down, yeah, they're dry. And so I, the other place we're going to is probably maybe three or four miles from where we're at now and last week there was nothing to mow last week so I called the guy and I said hey y'all want us to skip you this week and he said I, I don't understand yeah he said I, I don't understand why would you do that why yo, Why would you do that why would you skip mowing I said well the grass is dry and not growing but like I say now the <coughs> next place I'm going to is owned by the same guy but there's people there's managers there so I thought well they can see that it doesn't need mowed now these where the owners are never there like the railroad and this one the owners are never there they never see what it needs so I just keep it mowed because if I don't mow it and I miss a mowing they'll be wondering what's going on not if they that, need to get somebody not, else not they it's a tattletale yeah, so uh, they didn't mow. So the next yard, he couldn't understand why I'd skip it. But I said, "Well, does it need mowed?" Uh, I don't know. So I just said, "Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll just come over and mow it and give it a clean up anyhow." He said, "Yeah, that's better. Better just do that." Dumb. Although I don't care. Money. There's no work into these yards when there's no mowing and weed eating. We're going to go over it and we're going to make it look like we did something. Because they do have cameras and they know if we work or not, just like his other place has cameras. And, you know, if we don't show up, then they'll think, what's going on with these guys? Why are they not regular? 
because we have always been faithful. I mean, one of the things people like about us the most is what? We're our dependable. The, we're reliable. And we always come. Always. We're we're not likely to ever get behind. Unless we <laughs> unless something catastrophic happens. We're not likely ever to get very far behind. Maybe a couple of days here and there, but for the most part, we're we stay up on it. Yeah. So now. That car. <laughs> so anyhow. We're making big changes. Subway says I see that on the variable subway too. I thought they were changing their the size of their building or something. I didn't. That one says we're making big changes. Big changes. I wonder what their changes are. Have Subway's making big changes. What, what, what have y'all? Do y'all know what kind of big changes Subway's making? Hmm. All right, on to the next one, which does not need a thing done to it. That's four. Oh, oh, oh. Four. Oh. Four yard mold. Ah, ah. Ah, now you have a four yard mud. <laughs> so we got through with that place. How many is that? I don't know, but it was five. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Five. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. But, anyways, so we got through with that place, and it was $125, and it took us probably 30 minutes. Maybe 30 minutes. And here's the thing of it now. Before Didn't I came mowed. over and asked that guy if uh, they wanted mowed, not only did he thought that was strange not to mow a place, but he, he said there's some little weeds. weeds or grass coming up in some places, and that really makes the managers mad. <laughs> and I thought, don't do no good to get mad at me. I'll drop you. Okay, y'all. I'll let you watch the lake down there and see what Mariah can do with that little mower today. DJ. Get some! 
Okay. I'm going to tell you all a story about that house. God lives in that house right down there. One day, now we always mow two stripes away from the fence before we go back those stripes in the other way. Well, he thought we was blowing grass on his lawn and he's come out and screamed like high heavens, like you wouldn't believe. Now, he's about 80. He really is. And so he was hollering at Matt, and Matthew ignored him, which was the best thing to do. And then I seen him, I went over there and talked to him, and he was screaming and all kinds of mad. And I said, sir, you're an old man. And uh, I guess he thought I was threatening him. And he said, I'll go in the house and get something to take care of you and that boy both. I said, no, sir. I said, what would God think about the way you're behaving? And apparently a lot of people's had trouble out of that old man. And so the guy I work for here, he called the law on him. And the police went down there and talked to him and told him not to be doing that no more. Just hoping maybe that shook him up enough to where he will behave himself. I always look over my shoulder when I mow that yard. I just feel like he's going to shoot me. Crazy old man. Hey, y'all. You know what they say. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Oh, me something tall and strong. Make it a It's five o'clock somewhere. Anyway, so we're heading off. We've done our day's day. Into the sunset. Hope y'all enjoyed the lake. We're heading off into the sunset. Mariah is going to sing us a special song today. Oh, that's looking hay. I don't care. It's five o'clock something. Good night, y'all.